Sweet School on RealArtCulture.com is brought to you by Syngenta Canada, Alberta Wheat Commission, and CNM Seeds. Okay, Lindsay Smith with RealAgriculture.com, joined today by Peter Johnson, who needs no more introduction than that. Peter, lots of questions about a pre-harvest glyphosate application. When's the right timing? So really interesting issue out in the field this year, Lindsay, is we have all these late tillers, and late tillers are causing us all sorts of headaches in terms of trying to know when we can spray and also trying to make sure that we can get it through the combine. Lots of fusarium, as soon as you have fusarium in the crop, then definitely we want to get it out of the field as quickly as, as we can. If it's over 19% moisture, the fusarium is increasing in the crop. So on the label, it says less than 30% moisture. Whether we're talking about uh, the glyphosate or we're talking about Aragon, both of those products are registered now. Aragon, we would use mostly with clover. Glyphosate, we're going to use if we don't have clover. Both say 30%. Is 30% important? You want to believe it because that's the point at which the grain is physiologically mature. No more translocation into the grain. We don't want any translocation into that grain. So we have to wait till 30%. On the label, it says the thumbnail test. So I have to go to the field. I have to find a head. I take a kernel out of the middle of the head. I stick my thumbnail into it. I wait to see if that impression bounces back. Oh man, it's just an incredibly rough test because I could only look at individual kernels on individual heads. I can't scan the whole field and say we're good to go. The test I like far better that is supported in the literature that makes some sense is looking at the color change, the peduncle color change. We've talked about this before. There's been lots of chatter on Twitter. What we're really trying to get to is something like this where we have that peduncle, that's part of the stem right below the head that has turned totally tan color. What that tells you, no more translocation. Green there in that area, you know there's translocation. This head, just a little bit of color change, we know that it's getting close. Now, I can walk through the field, I can scan the whole field, I can tell immediately whether or not I'm close. Do I have 95% of the heads that have turned to this tan color? Do I have 80%? I have to wait till at least 95% or more, or I'm going to have glyphosate in the grain. It gets really tough with the late tillers. Two stages of late tillers. One where the tiller is late dose stage, you know, maybe a tad of milk, but big full kernels. They'll take about two weeks. We almost have to wait on those. They're also going to add to yield. The other side of the coin is really late tillers that just finished pollinating last week. The kernels aren't even developed. Those ones, as soon as the main heads are ready, we have to spray kill those late tillers so we can blow them out the back. Really critical year to get this done. Really critical to know how to stage it right.